a scandal involving a government agency, guns along the Mexico-U.S. border, and a murdered Border Patrol agent is gaining increased attention on Capitol Hill. In December 2010, Border Patrol agent Brian Terry was shot and mortally wounded in a gun battle about 10 miles from the Mexico border in Arizona. Initially, it appeared to be yet another example of Mexico drug gang violence spilling over the border, resulting in the tragic loss of life. But as information from the crime scene came out, disturbing evidence also pointed to serious wrongdoing at the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Since 2005, the ATF has been involved in an initiative called Project Gun Runner. A CBS News report had this to say about it. Project Gunrunner deployed new teams of agents to the southwest border. The idea to stop the flow of weapons from the U.S. to Mexico's drug cartels. <laughs> but in practice, sources tell CBS News, ATF's actions had the opposite result. They allegedly facilitated the delivery of thousands of guns into criminal hands. In what David Codria of the Gun Rights Examiner dubbed Project Gun Walker, mismanagement and botched oversight has led to as many as 3,000 firearms being allowed to walk across the border into Mexico. The firearms, along with any hope of tracking them to higher level criminals, disappeared once the guns crossed the border. CBS interviewed several agents off camera about how the ATF allowed firearms to move out of U.S. gun stores. One agent called the strategy insane. Another said we were fully aware the guns would probably be moved across the border to drug cartels where they could be used to kill. On the phone, one Project Gunrunner source who didn't want to be identified told us just how many guns flooded the black market under ATF's watchful eye. The numbers are over 2,500 on that case, by the way. That's how many guns were sold, including some 50 caliber that they let walk. In fact, two guns that were traced to an American gun store that had been cooperating with the Phoenix ATF office as part of Project Gunrunner showed up at the Brian Terry murder scene. This information came to the attention of U.S. Senator Charles Grassley, who sent a letter of inquiry to acting ATF Director Ken Melson. In the letter, Senator Grassley wrote that the Judiciary Committee, of which he is the ranking member, received numerous allegations that the ATF authorized the sale of hundreds of firearms to suspected illegal buyers who then allegedly transported these weapons throughout the southwestern border area and into Mexico. Two of the weapons were then allegedly used in a firefight, killing Agent Brian Terry. Senator Grassley went on to quote from a scathing internal Department of Justice review of Project Gun Runner, which found that the ATF focused on low-level individual straw buyers instead of targeting high-level traffickers and smugglers. The Senator Grassley clearly ruffled some feathers in the agency. When an agent in the ATF's Phoenix office spoke to someone on Grassley's staff, that agent was accused by a superior of misconduct related to his contacts with the Senate Judiciary Committee. The senator had to remind the agency of federal whistleblower protections and that agents have the right to be free from fear of retaliation or reprisal for speaking with members of Congress. Rather than focusing on retaliation against whistleblowers, Grassley said, the ATF's sole focus should be on finding and disclosing the truth as soon as possible. The American taxpayers spend millions upon millions of dollars on the ATF's border efforts, only to find out that the agency is making the situation more dangerous and more violent. Gun Owners of America has posted an in-depth analysis and history of the Gunwalker scandal, along with tons of supporting documents. And we will add new information as it becomes available. We've also initiated a petition urging Congress to take a fresh look at the agency in light of the latest outrage and to take firearms out of the BATFE jurisdiction. Unfortunately, the allegations of Gunwalker are just the latest in a long string of abuses by the agency. Americans have an individual fundamental right to keep and bear arms, one protected by the Second Amendment. It is becoming increasingly obvious that the two cannot coexist. It's never easy, but if enough Americans make their voices heard, we can do away with this unconstitutional agency. So please visit gunowners.org, sign the petition today, and help to spread the word.